Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Remember this battery from the other day? Bear with me for just a minute before I get into today's video. I need to tell you some backstory before we get to the main feature. Remember this battery was missing low temp protection, had different cells than what they'd advertised and all that. Um, ever since I posted this video, Vader hit me up, was trying to get me to pull it, uh, to modify it, to basically flat out lie to you and, and tell you that uh, it had low temp protection even though it did not, to cut my video, to edit my video, all kinds of shady stuff. So I told them flat out a couple of weeks ago that I'm done with you. I don't want to fool with you. I'm on the side of the consumer. I want to find a quality battery. I don't want to lie to the consumers. So that's not what I'm about. I said, I'm done with you. I don't want nothing else to do with you. All right, so now that's out of the way. So unsolicited, unrequested, this showed up in the mailbox last week. A little Vader 50, another Vader 50. All right, so that showed up. And then this showed up right here. Um, so, you know, take it, what it for what it's worth. I mean, these, these came in the mail unrequested. I didn't want them. I told them I was done, but, uh, I, so whatever that means, you know, but I'm going to give you a video today on this one. I may look into this one, but just right off the bat, I don't know if you can see that or not. Look at that extra sealing around the edge of this battery. Uh, it almost looks like it's been opened up already and resealed. So it's got a shiny case. That one's got a flat or a matte case. You can kind of see, you know, the difference in them. Same sticker. So I don't know if this one's been custom made and just sent to me as a guise uh, to fool you, the consumer, or not. So I was, I was going to, I'd consider buying one, you know, just from Amazon to check, but I'm not wasting my money on this. So we're going to tear this apart and find out what's inside this one, see if it's, uh, if it's the same. Wouldn't it be something if this one's exactly the same as this one? So we're going to find out. Now, as I was saying, I wasn't even gonna do a video. The only reason I'm doing this video is because yesterday they asked me what it would take to pull the original video down. So I figured we'd just talk about that while I tear this battery apart. This is in no way promoting their company. I would probably recommend against their company, uh, truth be told. I'm gonna crack it open and see what's going on because uh, when the top pops, the bull crap stops. Let me get you a close up shot of what I was talking about on this seal. This is not RTV sealant. This is not gasket maker. This is not polyurethane. This is hard and brittle. It almost looks like epoxy or some other industrial sealant. So that is a first and it's kind of, you know, poorly put on there. So that's what leads me to suspect maybe this one's been, it looks like there's pry marks on here. So it looks like this one may have already been uh, opened up or something like that. This has got the, the oddest looking seal around it. It looks like there's already spots right here. And I can assure you, I have not been in this battery. So, but fixing to be. So I'm gonna crack it apart, get it started. And we'll do like we always do. I'll get it started and we'll, I'll break the final seal. We can look at it at the same time together. So if there are surprises, I'll be surprised at the same time you are. Yes, that was in fact uh, epoxy uh, on this one. So very difficult to get into it. Uh, the other one was very easy. So pop this and open, see what we got going on here. Looks familiar. Um, it's got a sensor on it this time, right down there. So uh, let me zoom in and we'll get a closer look, see what's going on. You can see the epoxy rising right there on the on the outside. So yeah, that was hard to get into, but look down in here. If you can see right there, there's our thermal sensor, our temperature sensor right there. So let me go ahead and get the rest of the, uh, rest of the case out right here if I can. Let's try to do it. All right, so here's the cell pack out of its case. Uh, prismatic cells in this one. Last one was cylindrical. Uh, we've got a temperature sensor glued down right here to the side of the cell pack. So I'll break it back down a little further for you in just a second. Just wanna check, make sure the BMS has its own high temp thermal switch. Yes, it does. If you can see down in there, it has its own high temp thermal switch. See the little white leads right there. So we got high temp protection on the BMS. And this should be high and low temp for the cell pack, which is how it should have been built to start with. Now, like I said, whether this is a one-off 
custom when it was sent to me or this is how they're going to be built i don't know so i'm gonna go get an ice pack and then uh, we'll check this sensor let me get all this uh, shrink wrap off we'll look at the cells got bolted connections on these prismatic cells so uh you know that's why i was expecting to have the first battery so they you know this one is uh built as the first one was supposed to have been built expansion joints on the bus bars uh, everything's bolted down tight uh nothing nothing loose on there so that's good to see so i got the little vader hooked up to the power supply right there i'm going to test this uh low temp low temp protection on it so i've got my little colder nice ice pack just come out of the freezer so same thing i always do piece of foam on top of the ice pack and we'll see how long it takes All right, that's been five minutes. It ain't doing nothing. And usually the battery, when it's got the right program and right settings, that sensor will drop out with this ice pack within a minute flat. You've seen on other videos that the low temp cuts out real fast with this uh, ice pack that comes out of a negative five degree freezer. So let me try something different. So got the sensor out here. I got something a lot colder than 32 Fahrenheit. Actually, that ice pack's down in the 20s because it's salt-based, but regardless, um, here we go with something that's a lot colder, like in the negative Fahrenheit range colder. So uh, let's see if we can get the trigger with something a lot colder than zero Celsius or 32 Fahrenheit. Okay, nothing with the quick little blast. So let's, uh, let's just saturate it. Let's see if that'll do it. Okay. Um, all right, let's one more time. There it went. So it took something at roughly negative uh, 20 Fahrenheit to actually trigger it. So I'll warm it back up. All right, it comes right back. So from my experience with these batteries, that tells me that uh, they got this programming in this BMS set well below 32 Fahrenheit or zero Celsius, considering it took a negative 20 substance to trigger it. And if you've seen my other videos, you know the ones that are programmed right have the right sensors and everything in them that ice pack will trigger them in just a minute so go look back through some of my other videos with batteries with low temp protection you can see that uh colder than ice ice pack will trigger these sensors within less than a minute so i don't like that that it took something that cold to uh, trigger so that tells me that there's you know still some stuff going on but it does have uh low temp color protection but it's uh probably not at 32 fahrenheit uh or zero celsius so take that for what it's worth so the shiny case one has prismatic cells has low temp cut off although it's uh doesn't trigger like i'd like it to so you know their advertisement is correct on this case with the shiny case but if you've got one that's got the matte colored case the matte finish with low temp cut off we know this one does not have low temp protection this one's got cylindrical cells so i mean what do you do so best thing i can tell you with uh, this brand is to you know just there's the old coin toss right there and see what you get. Uh, still don't trust you. Still cannot recommend this brand because of all the nonsense going on and all that. But anyhow, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank y'all for watching. Have a nice day. Y'all take care and be safe.